The refrigerant must be completely cleaned up before dismantle to prevent poisoning. Remove the bottom screw. Open the oil outlet with spanner to drain the oil. After removing the shaft cap and rotor gland, remove the shaft seal. Release the jack screw on the shaft seal, moving ring with inner hexagon spanner. Then remove the coupling. Pull out the shaft envelope and shaft seal, longitudinal ring with lifting ring. Remove the female rotor gland and take out the inside parts. After drawing out the rotor, measure the wear of the connection between rotor and bearing bush. Measure and record. Remove the oil cylinder body and the rear oil piston steel sleeve. Female rotor blind plate. Release the nut. Pull out the balance piston with lifting ring. When repair the rotor with angle grinder, note to use polished soft sheet or use fine sandpaper about 1500 mesh. Remove the high points to keep contact surface smooth. Clean all the parts with kerosene and dispersant. Remove the rust and oil stain. Prepare all parts after cleaning. Start to assemble. Pay attention when installing the bearing bush. Align the salt when installing the bearing bush of exhaust and male rotor. To lay it down. Knock the bearing bush in with copper rod. Align the oil holes of other three bearing bushes. Two slots are below and one slot is on the side. Put the circlip into the slot with circlip plier. Then install the slide valve on the suction end. Align the slot on the slide valve and the key. Slowly push the slide valve. Install the oil piston to the end of the slide valve from the back. Screw on the stop nut. Tighten the nut. Lock the nut with retraction stop to prevent loosening. Check the slide valve slides smooth or not. Push more. Repair the slide valve edge with file if it doesn't slide smooth. Hoist the male and female rotors with crane. Install the rotors on the exhaust end. Put in the bearing. Screw on the nuts. Tighten the nuts with special wrench. Hoist the exhaust and on the gap adjustment table. Adjust the gap. Place the dial indicator. Jack up the rotor. Measure the gap between the rotor and the exhaust face. The gap table of various types of screw compressors is attached. If the gap is too large, the gap adjustment pad needs to be polished off to the corresponding values. Replace a relatively large adjustment pad. If the gap is too small, place the stop nut in and tighten. Start to install the gland. Install spring washer. Tighten the screws diagonally with torque wrench. 
make each corner the same torque. Turn the rotor to feel if it is uniform. Install the exhaust and cap and tighten the screws. Install the moving ring of shaft seal on the male rotor. Press the moving ring of shaft seal. Just hear a click. Tighten the side jack screw with wrench. Install the static ring of shaft seal on the shaft seal and cap. Align the slots on the static ring and end cap. Remove the impurities on the contact area of moving ring and static ring. Spray engine oil. Install the shaft seal end on the compressor body. Tighten the screws diagonally. Prevent shaft seal from damaged by inclination. Install balance piston. Align the pin openings on the balance piston and the rotor. Install the pin. Install the retraction stop. Tighten the nut. Install the balance piston steel sleeve. Apply oil. Tap it in with copper rod. Be careful not to damage the rubber pad. Spray engine oil. The pin opening on the balance piston should be aligned. Install the pin. Tap the blind plate in. Install the oil cylinder body. Apply oil on the inner wall of cylinder body. Spray engine oil paste asbestos washer. Hoist up with crane. Note to align the slot on the rod and the pin in the slide valve. Tighten the screws. Open the cap of the back indicator. Check the limit switch of upload and unload. Check whether they are stuck in slots. Blow the ports of upload and unload with air gun. Adjust the indicator to correct position. Adjust the slot of upload, unload switch. Install the cover after adjustment.